Hi, I'm Chris Lemke, and I am the Executive Director of Radio at Cornerstone University, aka WCSG's General Manager uh, here in Grand Rapids. And uh, this is uh, today's Friday Future feature from Christian Music Broadcasters. And the question that has been relegated to me is, um, uh, how is radio different today than what I envisioned it from my younger self? Well, you know, all I have to do is hold this up and, well, you get the idea. I mean, well, and this, hey, remember this? This is good, you know, I like that. And, well, we got one here that's still in the wrapper, and I always wanted to be Russ Tapp. You know, I always thought that was kind of cool to be able to, you know, do what he did. And, well, even better, you know, he's alive. That was pretty good, you know. We had a, 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 a casingle. We used to create casingles because <clears throat> when, when I was doing radio, you know, you had to drop the needle on, and then if you had any business to do, you had to make sure to get it in um, during the song, you know, because the song would finish, and then, you know, you're kind of stuck. So if we didn't play Sandy Patty's We Shall Behold Him, you know, we were in trouble. So we created this thing called a casingle. You know, you, you, you put two songs together. You segue two songs together, put it on a cassette, and then you could flush with no rush, which is what the cassette was actually called, so... Wow, Michael, you're still in it, babe. That's the way to go. <sighs> you know, I think the one thing that's really different uh, of how I envisioned it, um, in the 30s and 40s, which I was not around then, uh, radio, everything was live. I mean, the jingles were live. The, the sound effects were live. Everything was, was live about radio. Um, and that creativity still hung around in the 70s and early 80s. You know, you had Wolfman Jack, you had Rick Dees, you had uh, Larry Lou Jack, which is what I grew up on, and Animal Stories and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in our neighborhood, it was Kevin Matthews, and Jim Shorts with sports. I mean, it was, it was, it was fantastic. But I think today, uh, radio has become so vanilla because we, we, we section it up, we voice track breaks. And we really miss the flow. And I think that really is a great opportunity for us as followers of Christ to take the bull by the horns and do something that people that people used to listen to for radio, but don't anyway. It's, it's not a jukebox anymore. It's still about personality. It's just that we've kind of lost that. And I think there's a, a great wealth of opportunity that lies before us to be creative and to spend time developing ourselves as personalities, not just talent, but personalities. You know, you have an incredible personality, you have the most awesome message in the entire world, you you serve the most, as a matter of fact, he's called the creator, right? So you've been endowed with creativity to do what you do as an on-air person, to connect with people. Man, I say connect then. Connect with people. Be real with people. Now, uh, yeah, they don't want your trash, but they want you. They want Jesus. They, they have that hole in their heart. And you have a creativity about you that can connect with them because you're not just doing it yourself. You're doing it by God's grace. We have opportunity to help you do that, to help inspire you, to help encourage you, to help equip you to be the on-air communicators that you were meant to be. Even when it comes to promotions or, or doing sales or underwriting, we have the tools at what we call Momentum. Momentum slated, you know this, September 7th through 10th in Orlando. There's still time to register. And if you are already registered, fantastic. I'm Chris Lemke. We'll look forward to seeing you in Orlando.